Good morning. Welcome to Monday morning. It's your early morning intuitive guidance. I'm Dr. Bonnie Nussbaum and we're about to get poured on. I think we were out for our little stroll and uh, got the last few light drops and now I think it's just going to downpour for most of the day, which is good because things are dry, but I have to be out in a little bit, so hopefully I'm sanforized. Don't want to shrink any more than I already have. So, welcome, welcome. Start this week off well. We have a card from Notes from the Universe on Abundance by Mike Dooley. Good morning, Abigail. Glad you are here. Welcome. And Mike Dooley, for those of you who don't know him, actually, let me dig to the bottom of the deck here, and I'll show you his picture. I always like to know what someone looks like. There's Mike. That's Mike Dooley. And I love his description. It says, Mike Dooley is an international tax consultant turned entrepreneur turned writer for the universe. And his, his story is really interesting. It's one of those stories where when you read it, you can see, and it fits so well with this card today and with the meditation that I just did, which was the field of all possibilities. Good morning, Cindy. Oh, we're up to six already. Welcome to the four of you who zoomed past me. Good morning, good morning. It is Monday. Um, so, good morning, Lucy. Welcome. Thank you for the sunshine. I don't think we're going to be seeing any of that here today. It looks like it's going to be a stormy day. Um, but the field of all possibilities. So, yesterday earlier, I was feeling... I don't know what word to put to it. Bedraggled. That's a good word. Um, like, like... My projects feel two-dimensional. They don't have verve. They don't have life. I wasn't feeling the, the lift of things. I was kind of meh. And then I had a video. Good morning, Carolyn. Glad you were here. A video to watch um, from a, a course, a webinar, that was from earlier in the week that I hadn't gotten around to. So I watched it. And then I went to this person's website. Good morning, Beth. Welcome. And the steam started coming back again. It was like, ooh, there's there's a much bigger picture here. And I've been getting too narrow with too big of blinders on. And let's expand again. So that's kind of what this card is about. So again, it's Notes from the Universe on Abundance by Mike Dooley. And if you don't get his tut T-U-T, from the universe every day, it's a great thing to add to your email list. So you can just either Google Mike Dooley or Google Notes from the Universe on Abundance or, or TUT, T-U-T, and it'll probably pop up for you to be able to sign up for the daily email, which is, that's where these cards came from, was early on when he was sending out his notes from the universe, after he had done so for a while, and he says, he started with a mailing list of 38 people and in here it says he's up to 750,000 he's way over a million at this point I'm sure because um, this is an older deck but again it's that that um, I'm just thinking of all these people are popping into my head Mike Dooley is one um, and he's created this empire of positivity that came out of his own grief in life. Things not going well, feeling very down, needing a pickup. And out of that, here we go. Thank you, Cindy, for posting that. I appreciate it. So any of you who aren't signed up for Mike Dooley's Notes from the Universe on Abundance, please sign up because there are these cheeky little things that every once in a while they're so spot on that I'll print them off, cut them out, and tape them somewhere, like on the corner of my monitor for a while or whatever. But him and um, Nick Ortner, who is the founder of the thetappingsolution.com, he too being in a place of great despair. Um, he had been a real estate developer with his dad and his brother, and in 2008, everything crashed, and they lost pretty much everything. He retooled. Here's how he came back. We are now in that place where many things that were working are crashing and burning. View that as opportunity. View it as opportunity. These guys turned things around, found their passion, found their direction. Big 6 -o today. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I will tell you, I love my 60s. I love my 60s. Even when I'm having 
difficult times, I still love my 60s. Once I turned 50, things opened up. It's like, I don't give a shit what people think so much anymore. I don't care about a whole lot of stuff that used to consume my time and effort. Now it's more like, what's important to me? Where do I want to go? Um, be my own Sherpa. Steady, sure-footed, solid. What's important to me? So again, watching this, this webinar last night, it was like, yeah, she's singing my tune. She's singing my tune. So yes, happy birthday, happy birthday. A whole new decade opens up, all new opportunities. How wonderful is that? Very cool. We're happy to share your birthday with you. That's awesome. So this particular card, this particular card is one of those, in my view, dream big cards talking about the field of infinite possibilities. And he uses a word in here, which he puts in quotes, which I'm glad he put it in quotes. Um, and the second time I read it through, I'm going to add additional words to that word because that word is kind of one of those, he. <laughs> yes, isn't that a pretty image? Beautiful waterfall. Abundance, abundance, abundance. Lush, green, life, abundance. All right? I have to tell you another little funny. So yesterday was kind of an oops day. Things I was attempting to accomplish did not fly very well. Sometimes that happens. Um, and I had been watching three tomatoes on the plants out there. One was a big beef steak, and then there were two smaller kinds. But there's three plants. Each one had one tomato that was just ripening. And I wanted to leave them on the vine one more day. And then I was going to bring them in the house to ripen. The chipmunk chewed every single one of them, nibbled the sides out of each one. And it was like, there, let me show you that all your planning and forethought and how you're going to do stuff, I can mess it up in an instant. <laughs> so whatever, it is what it is, right? I'm channeling my inner Byron Katie. It is what it is. And I can fight it and be irritated by it, or I can just accept that, oh, well, Good thing there's more tomatoes on the plants. <laughs> yes, look forward to your 60s. They are awesome. We can do amazing things in our 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. There's lots, lots to do. What do you love to do? So here's the card. I'm going to read it exactly the way it is to begin with, and then I'm going to tweak it the second time around, because guess what? They're my cards, and I get to do what I want. Nah. <laughs> so some nice deep belly breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth in through the nose, out through the mouth. Let your shoulders drop, wiggling a little bit. Oh, is my neck creaky? <laughs> Here we go. When someone is so desperate, that's the words in quote, when someone is so desperate to have what they wanna have, do what they wanna do, or be who they want to be, that they'd rather take little tiny teensy steps in the direction of their dreams, then face one more single day of doing without. I just can't help but open the floodgates. It's my greatest weakness. Was that a step? The universe. So, have we not talked about baby steps? Baby steps, baby steps, baby steps. So I have my whole, I'm gonna show you this because it's absolutely hysterical. Here's all the things I want to accomplish in one day. That's all the things, all right? Obviously, that's not all going to get done. And what does it say at the top? Where am I? Baby steps get you there. That was my incantation for the day yesterday. Baby steps get you there. As long as you keep moving, you are on the way. As long as you keep moving, you are on the way. Well, yes, Gwen, and I hope they enjoyed it because nibbled every single one. I don't know if they were taste testing, see if the three different kinds were, if they preferred one over the other, but... Uh, Clearly, I'm going to have to bring them in sooner to ripen in the house. Sigh. So, for you, what's a baby step? First of all, what's the big dream? What do you want to have? What do you want to do? What do you want to be? I've got another doing one that's, that's lurking out there, and I have to, but don't have to, I get to open up the space for how might this occur? I wonder... Lynn Schuster. I wonder how this is going to happen. And I actually think today might be Lynn Schuster's birthday. That would be awesome too. Um, so, I'm all over the place today. There's so much good stuff to share. There's so much good stuff to share. I was on my call yesterday with my 
um, Gold Crushers group. It's a group of young people and me who um, came out of the first Tony Robbins um, Unleash the Power Within, and we just kind of clicked and connected, and we get together every two to four weeks on Zoom. Good morning, Pat. Welcome. Glad you're here. And talk about things that we're interested in. All of us are interested in real estate. All of us are at various places in doing things with real estate. Good morning, Mel. Welcome, welcome. But I love hearing their thoughts and where they're at. And two of them are tech guys. So they often educate me in terms of things that are going on with tech. Amazing, amazing, amazing. How much easier it is to accomplish certain things. Yes, I get it. It impinges on us. It's, it's, we need to have it be in service of us instead of us being in service of it. But it's so much easier to do some things than it used to be. You can find answers easily. You know, you don't have to go to the library, to the card catalog, to, to the shelves, blah, blah, blah. So what is it you want? What do you want to be? Who do you want to be? What do you want to do? What do you want to have? And that have piece, don't poo-poo that. Don't negate that. Don't feel like that's bad or wrong to want to have things. The universe wouldn't have the abundance it has if it weren't for us to glean it and enjoy it and share it and show other people it's possible, etc., etc. All right? So what do you want to be? Who do you want to be? What do you want to have? What do you want to do? Maybe just grab one from each category. Take a minute. Let's do that. Who do you want to be? I want to be braver than I am. I want to be braver than I am. Lucy wants to be a speaker. Fabulous. 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 What else? What do you want to be? Throw some out there. Let's see what we get. Ah, the heart went rolling. That's awesome. What do you want to be? What do you want to do? What are, the, what are some things you want to do? I want to build this intentional community. However this is going to happen, the divine will give me guidance. It'll unfold. I'm discerning. I'm listening. I'm paying attention. You want to be inspiring, want to be healthier, fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. All of the above are great. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? What do you want to have? What are some things you want to have? I want to have this cute little, hang on, I'm going to pull it down so you can see it because it's up there every day looking at me, my inspiration. I want to have this little intentional community. That's what I want, right there. Staring at me every day as I go about my work. So it helps me remember this is why I'm going about my work. All right? So what do you want to have? What do you want to have? You want to be a good friend. Fabulous. That is awesome. I also want to do all these things I want to do to show other people they are doable. They are doable. Far too many of us caught up in the I can't. I can't, or that'd be too hard, or whatever it is. Again, if it's important enough to you, if it lights your hair on fire, you wanna be retired, fabulous, fabulous. Now let's figure out what that would look like. If you were retired, what's it gonna look like? Don't worry about the how. Remember, spirit takes care of the how. You manage the why. Why is it important for you to be retired? Paint that picture nice and juicy, and then let the universe unfold. You want to be a philanthropist. And I think it was one travel and see cool places. Fabulous. Start taping some of those cool places to your wall. Make make a pin Pinterest board. I love those hidden Pinterest boards. Have you guys discovered those yet? If you're on Pinterest, there are boards that no one else can see. You can make them a private board just for you. If you want to have it be available for others to see and bear witness to, fine. But I love making those boards. So I have it. I started with a one thing intentional community board and threw a bunch of stuff on there and then realized, wait a minute, I need multiple boards. I need one for the physical space. I need one for the landscaping. I need one for the um, furnishings. I need one for the people. So I have all these boards related to intentional community that nobody can see but me. So create a Pinterest board. Um, take some words, put some words out there. So 
There's my one that came out of one of the Tony Robbins things. My light is beautiful. I am star stuff. I am brave. I am brave. I show up and do stuff. I show up and do stuff. And it's funny because people will often tell me that, yes, do the Pinterest board. They are so fun. They are so fun. Um, and you think of all the words you can put in there to screen for things like, ooh, that one, that one. It's so much fun. I haven't even done some on colors just because color is very stimulating for me, very creative. So I've got a green board and a purple board and I just put things on them that are pleasing to look at. And then when I'm having a crappy day, I can go on my Pinterest board and look at all the stuff and go, oh, yeah, I remember that. Or let's see if I can find some more of those or whatever. It can be very uplifting. And to me, that's a better use of my time than I'm going to distract myself with phone games or some of the other stuff that I do. <laughs> so let's go back to our cardigan. And this time I'm going to cardigan, cardigan, a sweater. <laughs> Thank you, Sue. Thank you. And that's what I was going to say. I think most of my friends, Sue's one of my friends, she's in my coffee group on Tuesdays, my beloved coffee group, um, see me as brave and see me as courageous, but the inner workings of, okay, come on, Bonnie, you can do this. Take a step. You know, all the cheerleading that I do, that's not visible. People don't see that. They see the external, man, she just did this thing, or she took a leap on that thing, or she was willing to do this very hard thing. Um, but they don't see all the, the internal workings of what's going on underneath. Thank you for that, Abigail. Thank you for that. Yes. So I'm going to add in my words now. So the word desperate that he put in quotes, I'm going to add in my words. When someone is so desperate, so empowered, so courageous, so motivated, so enthused to have what they want to have, do what they want to do, or be who they want to be, that they'd rather take little, tiny, teensy steps in the direction of their dreams than face one more single day of doing without. I just can't help but open the floodgates. It's my greatest weakness. Was that a step? The universe. Yes, it was a step. We've taken steps. We are taking steps. Little bitty ones, little bigger ones. Yes, yes, we are taking steps. So. What would step would you like to take today? What step would you like to take today? I'm actually going to look at a house. It is, it's speaking to me. I don't know why it's speaking to me. Um, it's not, there's a whole lot of things it's not, but for whatever reason it's speaking to me. And who knows, maybe it'll be the next house that my family group flips. Maybe it'll be where my sister moves as we're ramping up some some caregiving stuff. Maybe it'll be a rental. I have no idea what it's supposed to be, but it's kind of chattering at me. We will see. I want to live my life without fear and anxiety. Yes, yes, yes. And we know that the root of fear and anxiety is the lack of trust, the lack of faith. There's something, you know, how do we, and am I saying we're all going to be totally courageous? And think about that. Courage means there is fear. When you're courageous, you're overcoming the fear and doing stuff. It's not that you have no fear. That's not human. That's not human, okay? We have the fear, but we mitigate our fear in multiple ways, and we do it anyway. And remember, anxiety, the, the, the definition of anxiety from the brilliant analyst, Fritz Pearls is anxiety is excitement without the breath. Anxiety is excitement without the breath. So breathe, ventilate, whatever it is. Ventilate thoughts of your life. Let's breathe. And if you find after two breaths like that, that you're a little lightheaded, you are not breathing enough in life, people. <laughs> 72 retired and I'm traveling a great deal, but I want to enjoy the rest of my life without apprehension. Okay, so apprehension is another one of those words. Breathe. Breathe into that apprehension. Think about it as being like mud, dried mud on a surface. And the breath is like the water that you're dripping on that mud. It's going to, well, it's going to go from dirt to mud and then it's going to wash away. We're eroding the fear. 
we're eroding the fear with our efforts toward faith and trust. Faith and trust is a life journey. It is a life journey. It doesn't come easily, okay? Especially when we've had hurtful things happen. But again, part of this is going from that 3D level of how things look on earth to that 5D level of how they look spiritually. So when we can go from this shitty thing happened to me and now I'm crushed to I wonder what purpose this shitty thing served in my life. I wonder what I meant to learn from this. Okay, it build, built my tenacity muscle a little bit. I am grateful for that shitty thing that happened to me that built my tenacity muscle. And on this page, when I bump off here, look at what I just posted from Anne Lamott. Oh my goodness, people. I love Anne Lamott. How she captures things is amazing. And this is about her being tired and her being tired of life and how world the world is right now, etc. And what is she going to do about that? A day of self-care. A day of self-care. She's going to lay around with her kitty. She's going to take her dog for a walk. She's going to do those things. We need those days of self-care, or at least chunks of days. Maybe you set aside the morning for self-care, or maybe your evening is self-care. Whatever it's going to be, but some part there where you're in, in the, the um, meditation I did today from Deepak, that field of all possibilities, he talks about us being, I'm not even going to find all the words that he used, but the the beloved, adored um, person in God's eyes. And think about that. Are you treating yourself as if you are beloved and adored by God? Are you? Or are you doing the, meh, I, I don't need to eat regularly, I don't need to eat good food, I don't need to get good sleep, I don't need to move my body, I don't need to drink a lot of water. Are you blowing yourself off when God has given you this gift? How are you going to take care of it? How are you going to take care of it? So, we rambled all over the place, didn't we? Here's our beautiful waterfall. And our, our beautiful message of when we put out there what we want to be, have, and do, and then turn it over to the universe and merely take the steps that present themselves in front of us, we are going to get there. We are going to get there. You are very welcome. Have an awesome day, everybody. Enjoy your Monday. We'll see how wet I get going to look at this house. <laughs> but remember, the floodgates are opening. So I'm going to view that rain as a sign that the floodgates are opening and wash everything clean. See you again tomorrow. Remember, you're capable of far, far, far more than you think you are. What do you want to accomplish? Bye-bye.